60. Uh, Rockford 2, Arsenal 2. Drawing after being 2-0 up. What are your thoughts on the game? Chris, I'm in a passive and depressive mood. I, I have, you know, there is absolutely no way I can explain, nor indeed analyze or understand what took place this afternoon. How is it possible to be two goals up and end up with a draw against Watford this afternoon? We were bottom of the table. Bottom of the table. Where we were going to be and could have been you know, second place and now still at seven. Chris, I am not sure. I am not sure. Okay. I, I am, I, you know, I, I am lost. I'm lost for words. And I wish, you know, I, I, want to, I want to explain it. I wish I can analyze it. I wish I can say to you, this is what happened, that is what happened. But we are not any different to what we were last season. No different. Let's, let's start from the back. Let's start from the defense. David Luiz and Socrates both at fault for, for the goals. Chris, Would you change either one of them for the Chris, next Premier League game? Chris, David Luiz should never have been at Arsenal. No, you've never been a fan of him being never. an Arsenal player. Absolutely. Why not. is that? Why is that? Because David Luiz was appeared to be a good player because of the ability of the players when he were at Chelsea. Not because of who David Luiz is or indeed has been. So we you know we're in a situation and it is Vengarian, if I may use kind of that euphemism, where we are today. Why would you win a player like that? Why? Again, where did we lose? Penalty. Bad play. Where did we lose? Are we improving? Are we in any way developing? Are we in way looking at the mistakes that we've made over how many years? Are we doing it? No, we are not, Chris. We are still the same. We are still the same. We are still the same. You know, I am, I am, I am so, you know, I am so discombobulated, if I may use that phrase, to understand what is happening with the team. That we thought to ourselves, well, here we are, we are going to progress. But where it is, no. That, does it come down to the personnel of the players on the pitch or is it down to the manager, do you think? Because, for example, when we were playing it from the goalkeeper, Socrates stumbled, um, Maitland now stumbled, Guendouzi stumbled. But when David Luiz was passed the ball by the goalkeeper, he just kicked it up the pitch. So is it individual errors or is it what the manager is teaching them which is the problem? It is, it is a combination of both. It is, it, is the, it is the management, the structure of the management, the coaching that has not in any way shifted. And yes, the players themselves who have not reached that pinnacle or to understand what it is they ought to be doing that we find ourselves in the same position that we are. So, you know, it's not, I'm not gonna, it's not, it's not about either or either. It is the combination, it is both. It is both. Because, listen, how did, how did, how did, Man, how did Norris beat, beat Man City yesterday? Can you explain that to me? How? We saw that. Determination, a mindset. We do not have it. How with it, it is the most incongruous situation that we have that we would have Xhaka as a captain for Arsenal who is always a yellow card waiting to happen. How does that? Can you tell me how is it possible that within the scheme of things and with footballing thing and mentality we can have a man as Xhaka as captain for Arsenal. No discipline. No note ever. Always a yellow card waiting. How do you do it? Please you tell me. I don't know. I wouldn't make him captain if I was tell the manager. Me. I wouldn't make you him tell captain. Me. And if you were able to answer the question to me, yeah. I can further explain yeah. and even like elucidate on what I believe may be or may not be. <laughs> right? But we have to ask ourselves. 
Right. What, how do you rate Pepe's? Before? Are you still no, are no, you still patient Pepe. with Pepe, or are you feeling a bit frustrated with Pepe? No, I am frustrated with Pepe because Pepe, once he has ability, needs to understand that sometimes in football, it's touch and pass. One, it's not, it's never necessary to be two, three, four players. Mm. Touch the ball, you pass it, you move on. Football is a very simple game. It's not complicated. But there are people who want to make it complicated. And don't get me wrong, I am not going to be overcritical of Pepe at the moment. I am going to give him an opportunity. But I certainly, and without any kind of any provocations, believe, Chris, come next season, have we done nothing, anything, and don't improve, we will lose Lacazette, will they lose Abumian? Cabalas is coming, we are going to find ourselves in serious problems. Mm. Now, we see out today, I mean, I read an article by Kanu mm. talking why did we got rid of him, um, you know, Iwobi. All of a sudden, Iwobi is at Everton. How many goals did he scored in the last he three games? Three four. Goals. Three or four. Yeah. Now, you ask yourself, how is that possible? Mm. Now, Family, if we, if we look, if we look at them, you know, you know, yeah, we have to ask ourselves constantly. Mm. Chamberlain, yeah. look at the difference. What are we doing? Mm. What are we doing? Chris, I am, I am, I am depressed. Mm. I may not, you know, me, I've articulated as much as I want to this evening. But this is because of a sense of total depression that I'm standing here, but, you know, here it is, and that it is, say la vie.